Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. Folks, I've got me a fresh picnic ham, basically a shoulder roast, bone in, and uh, it's about eight pounds, so it's a little smaller one. But not only am I gonna show you how to smoke this baby, I'm gonna show you how to do a wet cure for it. All right, folks, let me show you what we've got. This is about a, uh, again, I've got an eight pound uh, pork ham. I'm gonna throw in about a cup and a half of salt, and this water is coming up to a boil. a nice little whisk. I've got dark brown sugar. You're welcome to use light brown sugar if you'd rather, but go ahead and put this in. And this is two cups. I'll put the, uh, you'll check out the uh, description box down below. Just hit show more and I'll put all the ingredients listed down there and the instructions. But you want to make sure that the salt and the brown sugar get all absorbed by the water. Here we are. Now right here, I've got pickling spice. I just got this uh, jar of pickling spice. Uh, they come in different flavors, but this is what I've used and this is a one and a half, <clears throat> one and a half ounce jar. I've used about half of it. It equates to about four tablespoons or so. Throw that in there. This is pink salt, Instacure number one. And if you weren't uh, sure, they have two different curing salts. Number one is for wet curing. Number two is if you're dry curing, like for salamis and sausages and stuff. So we're using the number one. You want to let this come up to a boil. And once it comes up to a boil, just turn it off and let these flavors steep all together. And if you don't have the pickling spice, you can also use um, black pepper, corns. You know, throw a few of them in there if you want. There we go allspice you know everything that you would find in pickling spice basically the only thing I don't have that uh, this is cloves the only thing that I do not have is uh, mustard seed and uh, some cinnamon I don't have that in here but it's in the pickling spice crushed red pepper flakes throw you some of these in there you can make up your own uh, brine if you want of course, I got bay leaves. You can throw you some more bay leaves in there if you want. I think it's fine the way it is. I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a touch, a little dab will do you. Like that. But again, let this all come up to a boil. And uh, again, if you can't find the pickling spice or you don't wanna use pickling spice, just use maybe a teaspoon of each of the different ingredients that are in the pickling spice, along with some of your own ideas of what you may want in your brine. So, meet you back here shortly after this cools off. We're gonna turn the heat off now after it comes up to a bowl, of course. Turn it off and just let it chill out and get back to room temperature. All right, guys, this ham that I've got, I went ahead and removed the skin and cut away a good bit of the, uh, the fat that was on there. And I did add probably like, uh, I don't know, 15 ice cubes or so to this to try to help it cool off a little bit. Let's go ahead and pour this in. And I got some water in here, if you can see down here, you've got a little water in there. That's gonna help uh, cool this off a little bit. Let's see if I can do this without spilling everywhere. There we go. All right. And I've also got just fresh, clean water here. Cold tap water. And you're going to wind up using about, uh, I'd say about two and a half, three gallons of water. All right, and I'm going to take a spoon and kind of stir this up a little bit, kind of mix the fresh water with the brine. And then we're going to put a cover on this. This is actually my, uh, my sous vide, sous vide container right here, sous vide container. Uh, but uh, just get you a food safe uh, bucket or something to put your meat in. Or get your brining bag, like for the turkeys and stuff. Now what I am going to do too, I'm going to put a bowl or a plate on top of this to help hold it under the liquid, but you want enough liquid so that it covers up the meat. Stick this in the fridge and uh, what you want to do is go about, let's see, about one day for every two pounds. So this needs to go four days in the brine, but we'll leave it in the fridge four days and we'll bring you back here in a little bit. All right gang, let me bring you up to speed on what we've done. We put that uh, picnic ham in the cure for four days. After four days, I took it out, poured that brine and uh, cure out, and then I put fresh water in there, 
and I put the picnic ham back in that fresh water and let it sit in the fridge again overnight. Try to help bring some of that salt out. And uh, that's where we're at right now. So I've got my Weber Smoky Mountain. I've got the uh, Minion Method. I'm using Kingsford Charcoal Briquettes. I've also, for my smoke, I'm using this, this uh, Mojo Bricks. This is their Maple, it's Maple Apple. And I'll show you what these look like. These are the, uh, the larger ones. These are the barbie cubes. So it's a, it's a good size, you know? So I've got two of those in there. And fixing to show you what we're gonna do here. Bring you down here where you can see what's going on. Hopefully y'all can see that. Cooking at 250 Fahrenheit. I just patted dry my pan. I'm gonna cook fat side up. And as you can see, I took most of the fat off, so I'm not gonna score it. But if you've got a pretty good layer of fat, go ahead and do some crash hoss, uh, has crisscross diamond pattern in there. Hear what I'm thinking, not what I'm saying. Uh, bones running right through here, so I'm just gonna come in right through here. There we are. Put the lid back on, and we're gonna let this baby rock and roll for a couple hours, and I'm gonna come check on it after after a couple hours. See where we're at. See if I need to do anything to it. And I will be basting it here in a little bit, so y'all stick around for that. All right, guys, we're at two and a half hours in, still holding about 250, 255. I still got smoke rolling. What I'm gonna do is take this, turn this thing over so that the fat is on the bottom because I'm not far from wanting to base this. I'm gonna just pour on a little bit of cola here. And the internal temp right now, that's my thing going on. Internal temp's about 136. Put the lid back on, we'll bring you back here in about a half hour. All right, folks, we've been going three hours now. My internal temp is 139. And I made a homemade glaze, still cooking around 250, 255, but I made a homemade glaze here we're going to glaze this ham with. And if you check out the description box, just hit show more down beneath the video, you'll find this in the recipe. Oh, kind of goodness in this glaze, man. A little pineapple, a little cola, a little uh, allspice and cinnamon, cloves, all kind of good, good stuff. Brown sugar. Oh yeah, babe. We're doing it up right over here. All right, we're gonna let this glaze set up. We're gonna let this go for uh, probably 20, 30 minutes. I'm put the lid back on, let her keep going. We'll be bring you right back. All right, folks, my Thermoworks smoke says it's 160 internal. Let's just double check it with the uh, thermopin here. Yep, we're doing pretty good there. Check it here. Spot on, babe, there you go. All right, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna tint it. And we'll let it rest here for probably a half hour. We'll be back. All right, folks, this is rested for about a half hour. Let's cut into it and see if we got something here. And bone's going through this way. Let's just cut us a hunk of it off here. Okay, that ain't gonna work right there. All right, we'll go from the end. How about that? Boy, it sure does look good. Mm -hmm. Check that out, folks. All right, goodness. I said it looked pretty doggone good. It's still smoking hot. Yeah. There we go. Getting a little bit of bone right there. Cut this off. Let's see if we can give us a little bit of taste on this. See what it tastes like. All right, folks. Y'all check this out. Got that nice pineapple glaze on there with a little brown sugar and stuff. Again, check out the recipe in the description box down below if you're interested in making this. It's very easy and it's really, really good. It's much better than what you would do if you bought this from the uh, store. This is good, y'all. Very, very tender. We've been sampling on it. Sure have. I got Karen, I got my mom, I got my niece here. What do y'all think about it? Very good. It's some of the best ham ever. It's good, y'all. Hope y'all give us a thumbs up. Hope you try it out. Let me know what you think about it. And by all means, hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. responsibly. Cheers, everybody. All right, let's. Go on, girl. She won't stop.